Meryl Davis and her partner Charlie White just won USA's first ice dancing gold medal. It takes intense training and focus to pull off a feat like that. So health and wellness reporter Zilana Momini is here to dish on how we can get metal worthy bodies at home. Absolutely. I loved watching Meryl and Charlie kill it on the ice. Meryl shared with me some of their training secrets and that she's so excited to be part of these Olympic Games in Sochi. Well, I'm excited to hear how she got that svelte <laughs> ice dancer physique. Well, one thing's for sure, it definitely takes hard work. They are on the ice five hours a day, five days a week. Now, do they hit the gym when they're not doing the rink rumba? Ice dancing actually requires a lot of core strength, and many people don't know that it often begins off the ice. So when they're not on the ice, they are together about 10 hours a day training. So lifting weights, running, doing their routines on land. They also do a variety of different dance classes, which is such a great workout and another way that we can sort of simulate that skater physique. So. But this is not strictly ballroom, of course, it's right. on ice, so right. how does it compare as a workout? Well, they're both amazing workouts, but Meryl said there's really nothing that compares to working out on ice. You're getting that balance part of it, you're working out every part of your body, really fast-paced, it's so intense. And they make it look so effortless. They do, it's beautiful. Now I hear five-time Dancing with the Stars champ Derek Huff mm -hmm. was helping them get those cutting-edge moves. Yep, Derek helped them with a lot of different combinations, which they took to the ice in Sochi, and it definitely paid off. Now, if we don't have Derek Huff getting us to dance our buns off, are there certain moves we can do to get podium worthy? Yeah, I mean, you know, physique? definitely. I mean, core work, core work that requires balance. So side planks, lifting the leg, that will really target different parts of your abs, your core, and different parts of your body as well. You also want to try moves that require balance and making you feel unstable like you would on ice. So, you know, strong abs mean great posture, and that helps a lot on the ice as well. So I know looking that svelte, of course, is a full-time job, like you mentioned, but yeah. they must have some time to chill they off the do, ice. They do, they do. I was happy to hear that weekends are recovery days, so they rest a lot, and they do get sports massages, which sounds pretty nice to me. All right, well, if there are rub-downs <laughs> involved, maybe I can be an ice dancer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't All right, know. thanks so much, Z. You're welcome.